Hi all folks, this is Max from uh, NexusSHacks.com, so ROM of the week. Um, this week is AOKP. Uh, last time I reviewed it, it was actually one of the builds. Um, this is actually Milestone 5. Um, I really love AOKP. Um, but um, let me just kind of walk you through. I haven't actually done anything to the phone other than just sign in, connect to the Wi-Fi. Because um, I want to show you all the changes. Um, this is what it looks like right now. It's available for both Nexus S and Nexus S 4G. Um, so let me just walk you through. Uh, the coolest thing is about is the ROM control in there. I know many of you have seen it. You, you don't have to watch this unless you haven't tried AOKP before. Um, for Nexus S users, Nexus S 4G users. General UI, um, you can do a bunch of um, stuff here. Um, it sometimes it'll automatically mail um, bugs to um, AOKP. I usually like to turn that off, um, hit allow, because um, this is kind of, I don't have time to um, send bugs out. Um, and also, but um, this is also stable version. So there, I just disable that. Um, you can disable blue animations if you want, um, but I don't, I like the blue animation. Allow 180 degree rotation, um, so you can go backwards. Um, horizontal recent window. This will make your recent windows um, horizontal. So if you hold down the home button, um, you'll see that it's actually uh, it's horizontal. Um, and the LCD density, custom carrier label. It says sprint right now, but we can put it um, under my. So once you do that, um, I think you might have to uh, actually reboot to make it come. And uh, hold back to kill, so you can be on an app and hold down the back button and it'll kill. And you can uh, change the long press home action, rotation delay. Um, I like to set it like real low, then it'll rotate much faster. And uh, navigation bar. You can add the three buttons, um, like a Galaxy Nexus, and also even customize the buttons just like a Galaxy Nexus, but I don't want to do that because the screen is kind of small. Um, lock, lock screen options, lock screen style, I like to set it on Octo or Quad. If you set it on Octo, you can uh, assign eight different custom apps. For example, go here. Oh, when you also press this button, a lot of people will press over here and you'll get a different menu. So make sure you press on the left side and then you can choose a custom app and uh, applications. And you can choose any applications that you want to run. Um, let's say Quadrant. Alright, now your lock screen has a quadrant. Oh, um, it should. Let me try that. And also enable fast words. This is great. Um, your phone's powered off. Hold down the power button. It's one of my feet favorite features of AOKP, probably the best feature. I mean, it's so simple, but, you know, why do I have to install a custom ROM to get that? Um, you can also enable calendar, um, so I can set it to sync calendar with my Gmail here. Um, and you can change the time range, so it'll show up to the next five days. Also show multiple events. And you can change the flip interval if you're like a, um, you like to live in the fast lane like me and then you'll see it working. Oh, now it's changed to uh, zero max there. Um, it's still sprint there, but I think I, after after reboot it, it should all work, be working. All right. So that's the lock screen, uh, power menu options. Um, you can add airplane toggle, a uh, torch toggle if you hold down the power button. So you can also enable your flashlight there and uh, a bunch of stuff here. I'm not going to go into all of them. I'm actually running a uh, kernel, matrix kernel, CFS 19.5. Uh, you can uh, choose, try uh, you know the maximum, like if your phone can handle it. Um, but you know, you can stay at 1.2, 1.3 if your phone starts rebooting. Um, and also minimum CPU, you can get it higher, like 400. Um, that'll make it a little bit faster. I, I, I just feel like that. Maybe it's just me, but it works. Interactive X, um, I like the most. Uh, you can set it up boot once you know the highest um, max CPU that your phone can go. And also free memory, you can set it to 100. So automatically uh, close apps when you run out of memory quicker. 
also set it at boot. Fast charge, um, it allows you to, um, when you connect it to your computer USB, it'll charge it faster. Um, so that's good. And But um, you won't be able to connect it as a USB drive. But just use that when you need to uh, quickly charge it. Make sure you turn it off. Change the battery signal and all that, all that good stuff. Um, so let me hold down the power button. Now I've got the horizontal navigation. Um, that's how I like to run it. Um, I mean, you can mess with it, but I just, you know, wanted to show you a, a brief overview because sometimes I just kind of go over the ROMs and I don't really actually go over it but there for NexusS users. Um, I really love this ROM. The only thing missing is um, the SP Manager, but you can actually download uh, one of the Clockwork Mod Recovery um, zip files that you can zip in Clockwork Mod Recovery somewhere on XDA for and look for AOSP um, this is kind of AOSP a AOSP compatible uh, DSP manager and you can install it it should work and uh, let's do a full benchmark at that those governors um, and let's see what what we get um, I'm not too keen on, on quadrants especially on the Nexus devices um, because it seems it seems to run faster than uh, the test say so I don't know, but I just did it for fun. Um, so, let's see here. And uh, I'll be using this channel, high on Android channel, just for um, now. Later, I might turn it into a, um, like, just featuring the best ROMs. So, you can, yeah, I'll have two channels where ZetoMax, I'll upload all my stuff. Uh, where high on Android, I, I'll upload all the, like, the really, you know, ROMs that I've tried out for a long time. and. You know, I know it's good, you know, the ones I rec recommend. So, maybe that's what I'll do. Now I have two YouTube channels. The other one I can't, I still can't upload, um, some kind of, uh, some kind of, uh, um, I don't know, it's some of my, f my videos, they got flagged down or something, and it's, you know, I can't access it right now, so. Um, so I was going to hold that Galaxy S3 give out, um, but since I can't upload videos to my main channel, you'll have to wait. It's gonna be two weeks before I can use it again. Um, I don't know. You, I guess you can call YouTube and tell them to um, re-enable my channel there, so I can have that contest. But until that that issue is solved, I can't really have a contest. So um, you know what? I might not even have a contest on this. I can get because you know Galaxy S3 is gonna be launched already by the time I can upload my videos to my main channel again and uh... well i can have it then maybe i'll just have it then um, but uh, you can find all my latest videos on high on android channel instead of zetomex uh... because i can't access my account so there we go so the quadrant test looking pretty good here um... and if you have a, Gal a nexus s and nexus s 4g don't forget to um, sign up for my email list at uh, nexusshacks.com I update you with this ROM, ROM of the week, tips, hacks, and more. And I don't share your email with anyone else but my dog. And it's a great way to communicate with me via email. Um, and uh, if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button for me. And subscribe button up here if you have. Thanks a lot. And uh, share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. Plus. I was going to just say that while um, that thing's running. But as you can see, um, 1256, that's... That's all right. I mean, it's it's the scores are everything, but trust me, this ROM is um, you know the bomb. I love this ROM. Um, definitely try it out if you haven't. This is the Milestone Five version. Um, I wouldn't really go for the Night Lease because that's why they're called Night Lease because they're not stable. Um, sometimes you know you have a lot of problems. Um, so highly recommend it, and it also comes with the uh, Trebuchet. Uh, launcher, which I think ICS launcher and uh, the uh, Nova launcher, which I recommend since you can put more stuff down there. Anyway, um, that's the ROM of the week. Definitely give it a try. I think this is also the best ROM for your Nexus S or Nexus S 4G. Uh, this one or the Apex, I, I really like a lot. And also code name. I mean, they're all good, but you know, this one has a special place in my heart because of the ROM control. It makes me feel good. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching my video. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel here on my new YouTube channel, High on Android, and also at ZetoMax. Um, and uh, if you have any ROM suggestions, don't forget to leave in the comment section. Um, 
that was the ROM of the week for the Nexus S and Nexus S 4G. And when you guys install this ROM, don't forget to install the Google Apps. And uh, I've had like thousand comments a day now, like people complaining to me, "Oh, I lost my Google uh, Play Store. What happened, Max?" I'm like, "There's two files. Um, there's the ROM file. There's the Google Apps. It's uh, you just do a wipe, get get into Clockwork Mod Recovery. It's the volume up and the power button after you turn it off. Once in Clockwork Mod Recovery, um, just do a factory reset." Um, which is wipe and then install the ROM and then install the Google Apps and if you want uh, overclocking uh, install matrix kernel and reboot that's it you know um, then you'll have the Play Store and if you lost your YouTube uh, app you can download it off the Play Store um, so yeah remember that I just want to point that out anyway thanks you guys and stay high on Android folks um, we are here on high on Android